Welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be about grocery shopping and what did $90 get me this week? Mm, I'm not sure it's a lot, but it was things that I needed. And I'm going to give you <clears throat> prices on some things as we go along as I have them. First, we'll start kind of with the cold things. Actually, I picked up some ground beef that was on sale. It was two, I believe it was two ninety nine a pound for eighty five fifteen, but you had to buy three pounds. That's a pretty good buy for around here, so I thought I'd pick that up and I divide that up and uh, I can freezer, store that in the freezer and maybe three individual one pound packages. And then I picked up some chicken tenderloins that uh, took me, I'm not sure what those, actually off the top of my <coughs> head, what those cost. Let me see if I've got it here. And I should have it here somewhere. I want to say it was a little, hmm, okay, it's about a pound and, a pound and a quarter of um, boneless skinless tenderloins was five sixty six. So, <clears throat> I will put those all in the freezer, use them as I go along. I also bought an extra or a stock up fill in can of chunky style chicken meat. I use the canned meat. Uh, sometimes I throw it in a soup I'll make up. Um, trying to think of some other things like if I'm doing a casserole, I might use that as well. Um, not the same as having your fresh chicken, but it certainly isn't terrible, for sure. It tastes pretty good, actually. And then I added another one of my shelf-stable milks, because I had used one. I have a practice of the way I keep myself stocked up is if <clears throat> I use one thing up, I check it off, and then when it comes time to make a grocery delivery, I know how many more that I need to order. For pr produce, I got bananas, thank goodness, because originally they didn't have any, but they came up with them. And then I got two nice-looking zucchinis, which at a later time, I want to show you how I do my zucchini. I have, a, oh boy, a new kitchen gadget, I'll call it, that I truly, truly love and I use all the time. And it's a big help for freezing up some zucchini. I also bought, not that I really needed them right now, but I thought that the rate the prices have been on cereal lately, that this was a good deal. It was $2 a box, and the expiration date isn't until next year towards summertime of 24. So I thought at $2 a box, that was a good deal to stock up on. I also got myself some unsalted chicken stock, and I use that a lot for making my soups. Different ones, this one happens to have <clears throat> made with chicken, vegetables, and McCormick herbs. I have used that before, and it was delicious to use as a soup. I really, really enjoyed that. And then I got some spaghetti, because I know there's been a lot of shortages on spaghetti, and I thought now would be a good time to stock up on a little bit for the winter. And bottle of honey. I 
I'm not a big honey user, but I do like to have it in the house, sometimes for cooking, sometimes maybe even in some tea, if, if you want to do it that way. And then for frozen items, I went back and got another air fryer um, frozen vegetable. This one happens to be Brussels sprouts, which I know a lot of people don't like, but pe a lot of people do. Um, I thought I'd try that. I tried this brand before uh, with the asparagus, and it was delightful. So I'm hoping this will be the same. I also got some chopped onions. I keep those in my freezer all the time because you can just take a small amount. I don't have to stand there cutting it up crying, may I say, while I'm cutting it up. And then I also keep these in a freezer, not, maybe one or two. But I have used this and put it in to my soup rather than a can of mixed vegetables, and it makes a really yummy soup. I also got myself some chopped spinach. Now, chopped spinach is something I will sometimes put in my scrambled eggs. Um, I have a recipe for a smoothie that I put chopped spinach in as well, so I always like to have at least one or two of those on hand. And then I bought something I usually don't get, but I couldn't resist. They were on sale. And for the days that you just don't feel like getting up and making your own waffles, I thought these would be good. Let me see. Let me taste those. I want to say, let me see. I'll look to see if I have that, but I want to say, let's see. It was two dollars a box, so I thought I'll give that a try. I got my eggs. I usually get a couple dozen at a time to make sure I don't run out. I got a loaf of bread, which is something I can freeze, and I have a little trick to share with you on freezing bread. As you know, if you freeze the bread for any length of time, it just doesn't seem to taste the same when you take it out. Um, I got this trick from, I, honestly, I don't remember who it was, but somebody had mentioned this, that if you open this bag and put in a paper towel with the bread and then freeze it, that that helps with that. And it certainly does, because I've done that ever since they, <clears throat> I heard about that. I also got some hamburg rolls, because, again, hamburg rolls, I'll take... I've taken to making my own sliders ahead of time. I'll uh, bake up, a, I shouldn't bake, fry up a bunch of hamburgers, put them on the roll, maybe a slice of cheese, um, <clears throat> and wrap them up good, freeze them individually. They last for quite a while. Nothing seems to happen on them. They were on sale. I think it's even written on there somewhere. Two, um, two dollars for a bag. Um, and then when I, again, want to have a quick lunch, I grab one of those sliders out of the freezer, stick it in the microwave for, oh, maybe a minute and a half or so. And it it is just the same as if you had just fried it all up. <clears throat> It tastes the same. Then I got some half and half, which, wow, why are the prices on half and half skyrocketing? I don't know. Um, let's see. I was kind of saving this to the end to tell you a funny story, but let me, let me share my funny story with you. When I was placing my order, they supposedly had a special going on. And if you bought two of these brand things, you would get a rotisserie chicken for $4. And I thought, yeah, it would be, make a good meal. I'll get this one, 
And I think the other one I got was coleslaw and ordered my rotisserie chicken. Well, when the order came out, the rotisserie chicken was out of stock. And so wasn't the coleslaw in this one out of stock, which left me with receiving this, which I wouldn't normally have ordered if it wasn't for uh, the fact that I was thinking of making a whole meal with the rotisserie chicken. So here I am with cheddar, broccoli, all gratin, but that's okay. It'll go, it, it won't get used. And I'm trying something new this week. I don't know if anybody else has tried them. They're actually called butter balls. And each one of those butter balls is equal to a half a tablespoon of butter. I thought that might be nice for, for when you're baking instead of trying to measure it all out. It's kind of pre-measured for you. And then for liquid, use, as usual, my water that I keep on hand. And then I got some soda, which was on sale, which believe, what happened to the old 89 cent? <laughs> a bottle of soda. It doesn't seem to be anymore. I don't myself drink a lot of soda, but I have someone who visits who likes the root beer, so I try to keep a bottle around. And then my latest thing for the last several months that I have been using, let me see if I can get this where you can see it better. It's called Apple Cider Vinegar Refreshers. It's a prebiotic. This one happens to be Concord grape with hibiscus. Now, they are a little on the pricey side. I think maybe around $4 a bottle, which seems like a lot for that little bottle. I don't drink a whole bottle even in a week. Um, I have found, honestly, it's, they say it's going to help you with your gut health. Um, it helps with your immune system, um, the apple cider. It's not quite as tough to take to drink straight with these other things in it. So I love it when I can get them, but they're quite often out of stock. And that is all I got. I think I got everything for a total of... A hundred and four, no, wait a minute, for $91.04. Not a lot, honestly, when you look at it, I'm surprised at how much I had to spend. But that is the extent of it. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to add a little something for your day to make you smile, and hopefully you'll get a little laugh out of it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And until tomorrow, I hope you all stay safe and well, and don't forget to check on your elders and see how they are. Bye-bye now.